Shimon has been reborn as a singer-songwriter and now we collaborate between humans and robots to make songs together. I can give it a theme, he can write the lyrics, he can suggest melodies for me, I can compose the melodies into a song and then together with a bunch of other humans we can perform it while he's singing. We are training the robot using machine learning over data sets of lyrics and it happens to be that these data sets are based on genre and then whatever the lyrics are from this genre it learns the correlation and the features and the connections between the lyrics and come up based on prime words I give it a prime word for example space and time it will go into the data set and generate new lyrics sometimes just by itself sometimes it fits to my melodies all kind of different combinations So we use deep learning to generate lyrics, but it's also combined with like semantic knowledge. So in a way, Shimon will know like the word storm is also related to rain, and then so he'll generate more based on rain. And then he'll also generate things related to rain, like maybe sunshine will come back. So that was kind of part of the whole lyric system, is making these interconnected ideas between all that. So I, I play bass with him, I actually mainly play saxophone, but for these songs I've been playing bass with him, it's really cool. It's really great just interacting. It really just feels like another musician on stage. It's like another person up there. And there's all kind of lots of dialogue between me and him. I also, when you work with the robot every day, it becomes like working with a person. And there's, there's ups and downs in the relationship too. Some days it's like, that's so annoying, that guy. And other days it's like, it's the best thing ever to work with. It's a great collaboration. This uh, new playing striking system that can uh, um, make Shimon to play uh, much faster, about uh, 25 to 30 hertz per second at uh, the maximum and also a much more expressive playing from a soft dynamic range to a, a strong dynamic range. And also it can do visual gestures, um, some visual cues to the other players as interactions. Shimon has eyebrows now. Um, right now they have one degree of freedom, so they either both move up or they both move down. And that has been a lot of just kind of manually placing it where we think it would be cute for him to kind of give a little like upwards movement. <laughs> I started out with uh, trying to synchronize Shimon's mouth to the lyrics, which was a bit of a challenge. We have different poses of the mouth for different sounds of a word. So for example, for like an ah sound, his mouth will be wide. For a T, it'll be uh, more close together. And we have different ones assigned to different vowel and consonant sounds. And then we linearly interpolate that over time so that it kind of gets a smooth transition. So it's not just kind of robotically moving up and down. A big part of what we're trying to do is to bring it on the road, to take the research and bring it to, to the people. And we are going to release a record and some videos and we hope to start schedule shows. So for many years I felt that people come and enjoy it partly because it's kind of a gimmick. Uh, a robot that plays, that's cool, and it looks at you and it bobbles its head. Uh, so definitely I still want all of this experience, hey, it's just like a human and it's interesting and, but I think we reached a level where I actually expect the audience to just be blown by the music. I like the music. This is music that humans by themselves wouldn't have written and there's something unique about this song and I want to go back and listen to it even if I don't look at the robot. Uh, we may not be there yet, but if you ask me what is my dream, that would be it. <laughs> <laughs>